Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Obsessed Designs. I'm Princess Masong, Head Designer and Creative Director at AMES, Masong Architectural Services. I have been in the design industry for three years, but my family has been constructing buildings, houses, and renovating spaces for as long as I can remember. Well, I believe it runs in the blood and this is my time. Stay with me as I share some of my project reveals, practical advices, and challenges every designer faces in this industry. I am Sess, and I'm obsessed with design. In our previous video, How to Virtually Meet Clients During Pandemic, I was supposed to show you the entire design presentation I have done virtually with a client. Unfortunately, the video took longer than expected, and so I'm doing another video for you, and so here it is. An old friend back in college asked me to redesign the condo unit that they are living in since during this quarantine, they have been spending more time in it and he feels like the space is not working out for them. So I made him answer some of our pre-design questions leading us to his specific dilemmas and goals for this project. So as I have shown you in the cover photo, here are GIF's goals for this space. First is that it needs to be space saving. Second, minimalist. And third, cost efficient. Before we can even start to think of a concept of the design of an interior space or any design for that matter, we first need to understand the nature and lifestyle of the user. The purpose of creating a desired space is for the convenience of those who will be living in it. So here are some of the information the client allowed to be published as he knows this will be featured in my video. GIF sent me these photos of their situation in the unit as we speak. And yes, they are watching our videos as well. In their existing layout, I have noticed some problems in the arrangement of their furniture. Like how their dining table is situated far across from their kitchen. Also, their sofa bed has the inconvenient location where the one seated in the area would not be able to enjoy the television. There are also some wasted space and not to mention the cramped area towards the door to the balcony. So here is our solution. In our proposal, we zoned out the areas from sleeping, living, and service. That way, the function of the spaces don't cross paths from each other and the circulation is clear. Also, we created a way for Jif and his partner to enjoy Netflix and chill by proposing a TV bracket that can be navigated to face the bedroom any time of the day. And lastly, Jif mentioned that his family sometimes visits them and would love to give them space when they want to spend the night. So, just like what we used in our Horizons 101 makeover, this unit will also be using a pull-out bed to accommodate two more people. I hope after watching this video, you are no longer hesitant to reach out to one of your designer friends. Or if you don't have one, you can always contact us through this email. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!